be honest, it's final sale. I think it's more Carol Baskin than Beyonce. You can do so much better. But this one? You think? It's pricey. But worth it. Hi, Benny. Hi, Christine. Hey, are you okay? Are your parents with you? No, they're at work. I walked here. I'll page Dr. Henry. Okay, what's your name? Jade. Hi, Jade. I'm Holden. What hurts? It's okay, honey. I'll take you inside. But my board! I'll take good care of it. I promise. as X approaches one, then plug in a number that's close to one, and then you check both sides and you're done. Okay, see, that one was easy, but the rest are way more complicated. I mean, once you grasp a basic knowledge of limits, it's pretty straightforward, I promise. Straightforward? I might as well take this test in Mandarin. What's the point of me even attempting pre-med if I can't pass junior college calculus? <sighs> Come on, Nina, it's one class. You can be top in every other subjects. I mean, if you try. So suck it up. <laughs> Besides, you're hardworking, you're smart. Hmm. How's Eva? She's fine. What happened? Nothing happened. I... Nothing's wrong. She's great. There's just no spark. Hmm. Well, just wait for the spark to ignite. Just wait till you get out of here. This hospital isn't the most romantic. <laughs> you know, it's not true. It didn't stop us then. It doesn't change the way I feel about you now. I gotta go. We're going to do surgery as soon as possible to reset your arm. Now, to observe the procedure, who can tell me the name of the bone with the stress fracture? Humerus. No, radius. Trick question. It was a compound fracture. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You got it, Sasha. Glad you guys are having fun. How are we doing on an OR room for Jade? Slots are open, but we haven't been able to reach your parents. No one's calling back from the number she gave us, and she claims her phone is broken. She claims, huh? Did you call social services? Yep, but they're backed up. Why don't you put Holden on it? I think she likes them. I'll tell Nina. Okay, everyone, listen up for assignments. Oh, fun. Great top, by the way. Uh, thanks. Okay, Eva, you're on PT with Jamie, and Holden, you're with Jade. But I'm with Jade. Dr. Henry said I could observe the bone setting. Well, now you're both with Jade. We need to contact her parents before we can do anything legally, so find out what you can. It's obviously time sensitive. What about me? Oh, uh, you can be on Pediatrics with Rosie. Okay, everyone happy? Okay, good. You sure you're okay working with Mary Magdalene? We can switch if you want. I'll be fine. Just go be with your boy. <laughs> Ugh, Lord, give me strength. Look, if you don't have the surgery done soon, then you'll be here all night. And you don't want to be in the ear all night. Weird things can happen. Trust me. Help us help you. I told you. I already gave the nurse their contact info. They'll eventually call back. Let's hope you don't lose your arm before that happens. What? She's joking. That won't happen. Am I? You'll be fine. Hold in. Can I talk to you for a second? I have a strategy. Scare tactics are not going to work. She walked three miles with a broken arm. It won't work if you keep undermining everything I say. 
It's fine. Sorry. You guys sound like my parents. Is your dad also a serial dater with codependency problems? Look at her hair. Yeah, that's crazy. And look at this. Hey, Benny. You're up here today? At your service. How have you been? You look great. Don't lie. I feel like garbage. And I probably look like it. This radiation sucks. You're gonna get through. I was just telling Elijah that God will see him through this rough patch. If not God, then definitely Dr. Henry. <laughs> I guess. I got it. Yeah. I said I got it. I don't need you to do every little thing for me. Sorry. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. It's not to you, but I just don't want everyone waiting hand and foot for me. It, it, it's not fun. Yeah. I guess you could say I let know a little bit about the process. Right. I forgot. Is everything okay here? Yeah, it, it's not you. I just I'm not in the right headspace. I, every little thing feels like I'm trying my absolute hardest. I don't really feel like myself. I'm sorry. No, you don't need to apologize. I completely get it. All I'm saying is, maybe you should keep your feelings on faith to yourself. This is a hospital. It relies on science, not the whims of God. Keep him out of it. This is precisely the place where people need to lean on faith. Trust me, I would know. And that's great for you, but it's not acceptable for you to push that on Elijah and everyone you come in contact with. I think I know Elijah better than you do. Have you even asked him what he believes? Does he even want to pray with you? Elijah, you'd rather be playing your video games, right? I'm staying out of it. Prayer has proven to have a positive effect on all recovery rates. So who is my religion hurting? Me! Your religion is hurting me! Maybe we should step outside? Why? This is way better than video games. Why are you putting me back with Holden? I told you he's back with his ex. Are you trying to torture me? Right. I'm sorry, Christine just thinks he has a good handle on Jade. So do I. I don't get why he's everyone's golden boy now. This is why I told you not to get involved. You should be focused on your patient and not Holden. Not everything is about you. Fine, whatever. <sighs> Having faith is a beautiful thing, Rosie, but not when it's weaponized and used against vulnerable LGBTQ kids who are told they're some kind of, I don't know, aberration? I don't think you're an aberration. I think you're great. I was just trying to help you. Well, there's nothing wrong with me, okay? I was born this way, baby, and I love who I am. And that's great, and I don't think there's anything wrong with you. But maybe you should just give God a chance. It's your fault I'm in this situation. Your assignments make no sense. Nina, we need to talk. Okay, I'm done working with her. I tried it. I'm sorry. Okay, can everyone calm down and lower your voices? He's attacking my religion. Not your religion. I'm attacking your church. Hey, she said lower your voices. You two, wait for me outside. Nina? We need to talk. Come with me. So Jade, tell me about your family. Why? Is everything okay at home? Do you feel safe there? Do you need help? Are these injuries really from a skateboard? <laughs> yes, I actually fell off my skateboard. I don't think you really landed that backside air. You got proof? Yeah. Whoa, that's dope. Oh, can't believe you got up from that. No way. I don't think that's real. It is real. Let me get a closer look. Hey, give me that back. Just one second. Looks like your phone's not broken after all. Hey, oh, give okay. me. Hey, I'm give down. it back. Go, I got this. No. I can't believe you kept me in the dark about this. This could have been a PR HR viral nightmare. I know, I, I'm so sorry. These situations require a delicate touch, Nina. Benny has been harassed enough at school. It shouldn't happen here. 
I know, I just thought I could handle it. I mean, it's Rosie. Look, we both know that she's been through so much, she will say or believe anything. But he doesn't know that. You have to clue me in. Nina, there are certain situations that are above your pay grade, and you have to learn when to ask for support. You're dropping the ball. Hey, everything's gonna be okay. No, it's not. Why didn't you want your parents to know that you're here? Because they're going to freak out, and they already hate each other, and I just make things worse. Where do they think you are? They don't talk, so I just tell one of them that I'm with the other one. They don't care. Well, they definitely care, and whatever's happening with them, I, I promise you, it has nothing to do with you. When you won the scholarship to Provincetown last time, you ended up declining. I'm trying to put these decorations together for the variety show. How hard can it be? I'm hosting a variety show in the kids' unit. I want you to perform. Why would I do that? Something's been up with Jamie lately. I just don't want to be that annoying girlfriend that's always bugging him to open up.